NASCAR Spring Cup Series at Pocono is brought to you by Napa. Stop by your local Napa store to experience the Napa know-how difference. Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. And KFC. The amazing taste of KFC original recipe. Now available without the bones. Today tastes so good. Well, a terrific fight for the finish here at Pocono between Casey Kane and Jeff Gordon was one of the headlines of the day. The other was the driver and car that dominated the first half of the race. Having that happen to them, two laps shy of halfway. Jimmy Johnson cutting down the right front, hitting the turn two wall. Soldiering on the rest of the day with a number of stops. What, they probably made about 15 pit stops, Vince, and Johnson wound up finishing 13th. After having his heart broken last week at the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the Brickyard 400, Jimmy Johnson uh, with a, uh, another tough day today. But, Jimmy, you guys made something out of nothing after that flat tire to finish 13th. How proud are you of this team? Yeah, just really proud of the effort to work through uh, the damaged race car. And then I guess I hit so hard it knocked one of the uh, uh, spark plug wires off the spark plug. And I was running on seven cylinders. We finally figured that out and got the spark plug wire on. And then the car ran good again. And I don't know how with the damage race part all the trouble we, we went through today, we salvaged the 13th. So, uh, just a team effort, very proud of everybody involved. Unfortunately, we had that flat, you know, if they're leading the race when it blew, but uh, stuff happens, it's racing. Did you get any indication at all that you were maybe having some right front issue at all before it let go? No, and it, the way it went, it just exploded, so I'm not really sure what caused it, but uh, laid off the turn one, it just exploded, and that was it. Thanks, Jimmy. Nice job. Jimmy Johnson, 13th. Well, Dale Jr. has a great day. Pit stops were solid, but Friday you guys had a serious vibration. It was a shake, actually, what you called it. They changed everything that could rotate. How good was the car today, and, and how did you guys get it better through the race? Yeah, it was better uh, as far as the vibration goes. We changed everything but the engine. I want to thank the guys. They worked really hard. We really did. We changed everything for the car with the motor. And uh, I want to thank the National Guard Youth Foundation for everything that they do, being a part of this weekend for us. And uh, we did have a good car. Not good as uh, we need to be. Uh, we changed a little bit from the last uh, time we were here trying to get better, and I don't think we did. Uh, it was a little bit loose in all day, a little bit tighter in the center, and uh, just didn't have uh, the edge we needed. But I felt pretty good coming in here this weekend, real confident. But uh, we got, you know, the weather set us back, and, and then all that vibration stuff, we never got to work on the car real good Friday. So we just got shooting in the dark today. I want to thank my guy. We did a good car, did a good job on strategy, as usual, and uh, great pit stops. All right, Dale Jr., good job by him. Brings it home fifth today. Well, for Hendrick Motorsports, a 1-2-5 finish today. And Jimmy Johnson, really, that was quite the rally to get 13th. Yeah, it was. That car was really destroyed in that crash. They did a lot of work on it, and uh, evidently they did a good job with it. Yeah, sign up championship team. A lot of pit stops for that 48 team today. The right pit stops, the right strategy, and the right timing. So Casey Kane on that restart. He's your winner.